2018 Ferrari Portofino, the new entry-level prancing horse. No more California love. Overview. Behind the Portofino's sinister grin lies a 591 horsepower twin turbocharged 3.9 liter V8 that gives this prancing horse its legs. Other performance gear includes an electronic limited slip differential and an adaptive suspension. The Portofino features luxuries such as a retractable hardtop roof and a 10.2 inch infotainment touchscreen. Rear seats are standard, but aren't likely to be humane places to park passengers. An on sale date is unknown. But expect a price tag in excess of $200.00. Ferrari is no longer California dreaming, and the sports car manufacturer's head is now firmly back in Italy. The all new 2018 Ferrari Portofino is the formal replacement to the Ferrari California T, cribbing its name from a small port town on the Italian Riviera. The Portofino will serve as Ferrari's entry level model. Like its predecessor, the Portofino is a convertible with a retractable hardtop. Measuring 0.6 inch longer and 1.0 inch wider than the California T, the Portofino is blessed with handsome proportions and aggressive styling. LED headlights and an angry looking front fascia work with a better integrated rear profile to help the Portofino avoid the awkward proportions that have plagued the California since its debut as a 2009 model. Like the California T, the Portofino is powered by a front mounted twin turbocharged 3.9 liter V8 but with a new intake system, redesigned pistons, revamped connecting rods, an improved exhaust system, and new engine management software. These measures allow the higher revving V8 to produce an estimated 591 horsepower and 561 pounds to foot of torque, gains of 39 horses and 4 pounds to foot Ferrari says the Portofino will make its way from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 3.5 seconds. That may be a conservative claim. Considering our test of the California T returned a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 3.3 seconds. Ferrari says the new model will top out at over 199 miles per hour but doesn't say how much over. That's 3 miles per hour better than its claim for the California T.